Arab Americans are speaking out about a leaked FBI report that claims Dearborn is home to the second largest concentration of suspected terrorists. Here's what they had to say to 7 Action News reporter Mike Wolfolk. We're not terrorists whatsoever. Syed Nasser sums up what many in the local Arab American community are feeling after learning that Dearborn is the number two city on the FBI's terrorist watch list. It's saying that somewhat we don't have our rights anymore because they're watching us, everything we do, they're in our text messages, they're in our lives, they're in our privacy lives, they're in everything. An online news site called The Intercept revealed Dearborn's ranking on the watch list based on leaked government documents. Several community leaders held a news conference Friday morning outside Dearborn City Hall expressing outrage. Well, this says that every basically parent and child, uh, son, daughter, uncle is, has terrorist ties. Outside the Princess Bakery on Warren Avenue, Yaya Bazi, born in Lebanon but living here in America since 1989, says Muslims are misunderstood by many in this country. We are peaceful people. We came this this wonderful country. We live here, we work here, we pay taxes here, we support America. Abdallah Nadi was among the many leaving afternoon prayers at a mosque just off Werner and Dix. He left Tanzania for America 15 years ago. This is my country. And I, I will fight for this country, but we're going to correct the system. The various leaders at Friday's news conference called this FBI labeling of the Arab American community here in Dearborn both unfair and unwarranted. They have now sent a letter to Congressman John Conyers asking him to file an inquiry with the Justice Department. In Dearborn, Mike Wolfolk, 7 Action News.